In today's world, people are increasingly relying on supplements and medicines to improve their overall health and well-being. While both have their benefits, using them together can sometimes lead to unexpected reciprocal effects. In this video, we will explore the potential risks of using supplements and medicines together and provide guidance on how to safely incorporate them into your daily routine. Understanding the Differences Between Supplements and Medicines Before we delve into the potential risks of using supplements and medicines together, it is important to understand the fundamental differences between them. Supplements are typically made from natural ingredients such as vitamins, minerals, and herbs, and are designed to support general health and well-being. Medicines, on the other hand, are specifically formulated to treat or prevent specific medical conditions and often contain synthetic compounds. Before we continue, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this and turn on notifications so you never miss one of our health videos. The Risks of Combining Supplements and Medicines while supplements and medicines can be used together safely, there are potential risks associated with combining them. One of the main concerns is the possibility of adverse interactions between the active ingredients in supplements and medicines. For example, taking high doses of certain vitamins or minerals in combination with prescription medications can lead to serious health problems. Another concern is the potential for supplements to interfere with the absorption, metabolism, or excretion of medications. This can lead to reduced effectiveness or increased toxicity of the medications. For example, certain supplements may affect the way that the liver processes medications, leading to increased levels of the drug in the bloodstream. List of medicines and supplements that can't be taken together. Omega-3 fatty acids and blood thinning. Because omega-3 acts as a blood thinner, it increases the risk of increased bleeding when combined with blood thinners such as aspirin and coumadin in high doses over six capsules per day in a standard dose. Ginger and hypertension. Ginger root, whose usefulness in reducing nausea and vomiting has been shown in recent research, may counteract the impact of stomach antacids such as Zimateg or Zantac. This herb may also boost the action of anticoagulant medicines. Therefore, see a doctor before beginning to take it with these medications. Because ginger can lower blood pressure and blood sugar levels, People who are taking the supplement while taking conventional drugs should closely monitor their sugar and blood pressure levels. Diabetes and ginseng. The ginseng plant affects blood sugar levels because it aids in the metabolism of carbohydrates in the body. Diabetes patients who take ginseng with or before a meal have lower blood sugar levels, according to studies. This fact is beneficial to diabetics, but it should be considered while ingesting ginseng during insulin therapy and discussed with a doctor. Digoxin. A medicine used to treat heart failure may be increased by Siberian ginseng. As a result, people who use the medicine should see a doctor before taking the supplement, and digoxin levels should be monitored at the start and end of usage. Ginkgo biloba and hypertension. The ginkgo tree is also a moderate blood thinner. Although a 2001 study on the safety of using ginkgo in combination with Coumadin discovered no interaction or specific problem, people on blood thinners should consult their doctor before beginning to take the supplement. Furthermore, due to its blood thinning activity, it must be discontinued 36 hours to 14 days before surgery in consultation with the doctor. The Menstrual Cycle with Dong Kwai Dong Kwai, Chinese Angelica, is regarded as the women's ginseng since it has been used in Chinese medicine for hundreds of years to treat menstrual cycle difficulties as well as menopausal symptoms, including hot flashes. Because this plant contains a small amount of blood thinners, it is advised to consult a doctor before combining it with aspirin or coumadin, even though the medical literature does not report any interactions or risks with these drugs. Depression and Hypercom the hypercom plant, also known as St. John's wort, which is popular for treating depression, anxiety, and restlessness, may reduce the effectiveness of immune-suppressing drugs, such as AIDS drugs, by stimulating the metabolic activity of their breakdown. Several cases have been reported in the United States among AIDS carriers whose disease was dormant and who took anti-AIDS drugs as well as hypercom. As a consequence of the inadequate therapy they got, AIDS became active. The plant may also enhance the action of antidepressants from the Valium family, resulting in adverse effects such as disorientation, elevated blood pressure, and stomach activity disruptions. 
Even people taking SSRI antidepressants, such as Prozac, are advised not to take Hypercom at the same time, as the combination may cause drowsiness as well as serotonin syndrome, which manifests itself as a very fast heart rate, confusion, hallucinations, fever, convulsions, tremors, and even coma. Hypercom may also induce a drop in digoxin levels in those taking the medicine at the same time. Therefore, levels of the drug must be checked both before and after commencing the supplement. Acne and Vitamin A The combination of vitamin A with acne treatment medications like Rocutane may result in serious poisoning and exacerbate the already hazardous adverse effects of Rocutane pharmacological therapy. The reason for this is because Rocutane is a vitamin A derivative, and the combination of the two produces a very high quantity of vitamin A to accumulate in the body since this vitamin is fat-soluble and hence tends to accumulate. Vitamin K and blood clotting. Vitamin K is necessary for our body's blood clotting mechanism and the prevention of bleeding. Taking the vitamin at the same time as the anticoagulant medicine Coumadin, used to thin the blood, may counteract the drug's effect. In addition, when using Coumadin, it is advised to avoid consuming green leafy vegetables, which contain relatively high levels of vitamin K, hemorrhages, and vitamin E. In contrast to vitamin K, vitamin E functions as an anticoagulant and blood thinner in the same way that Coumadin does, and this combination may be troublesome, particularly when used in high amounts, more than 800 IU per day. It may raise the risk of increased bleeding and hemorrhaging when used with Coumadin and aspirin, immune system, and echinacea. When used with antifungal drugs like Nizoral, echinacea may raise the already high risk of liver damage caused by these treatments. As a result, the supplement should not be used in conjunction with these drugs. Furthermore, because echinacea stimulates immune system activity, people taking immune-suppressing drugs such as Celsept should avoid taking it, as it may interfere with the effect of the drugs. However, the echinacea plant may increase the activity of drugs in the calcium channel blockers class, such as Osmo Adult, Diltom, and Norvesc, which are used to treat heart disease and hypertension, so it should be avoided even in this case. Tips for using supplements and medicines together safely. Fortunately, there are steps that you can take to safely incorporate supplements and medicines into your daily routine. Here are some tips to keep in mind. Talk to your doctor or pharmacist. Before taking any supplements, it is important to consult with your doctor or pharmacist. They can help you determine if the supplements are safe and appropriate for you, and can also provide guidance on how to take them in combination with any medications you may be taking. Follow recommended doses. When taking supplements, it is important to follow the recommended doses on the label. Taking more than the recommended dose can increase the risk of adverse effects, particularly when combined with medications. Keep a record of what you take. Keeping a record of the supplements and medications you take can help you and your healthcare provider monitor for potential interactions or adverse effects. Be aware of possible side effects. Both supplements and medications can cause side effects. It is important to be aware of the potential side effects of each and to notify your healthcare provider if you experience any. In conclusion, using supplements and medicines together can have reciprocal effects that can impact your health and well being. While both have their benefits, it is important to be aware of the potential risks and to take steps to use them safely. By talking to your healthcare provider following recommended doses, Keeping a record of what you take and being aware of possible side effects, you can safely incorporate supplements and medicines into your daily routine. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified when we post new videos. We'd also love to hear from you in the comments section below. Tell us what topics would you like us to cover in future videos.